Team Melang. Hello guys, my name is Losha. Welcome back to my channel if you are a day one. But if you're new here, please do me a big favor. Put a smile on my face by clicking that big red subscriber button below. Become part of my YT family. And while you're down there, guys, you day ones and the new guys, please click that like, like button. Yes, like, 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 like. So today's video is all about small YouTubers like me. It's the second installment into my uh, my small YouTuber series. And today's video, I still have my handy <laughs> dandy tape note uh, book. So today's video, I couldn't decide which one I should do. I wanted to do the smaller YouTuber tag, but I'm like, hmm, I don't know about that. And I was like, maybe I should do a video into to build on the first video I did. If you haven't seen that one, uh, click on that eye above to see it. Um, it just tips that I was giving out to other small YouTubers on how we can help each other grow. So I thought I should build on that and uh, explain some of the things as a small YouTuber that I, I realized that I was doing, the mistakes that I was doing that were hindering my growth. Well, some of them, not all of them some that I've noticed from other small YouTubers. So don't mind me when I put down my head a lot to read because I wrote down stuff so <laughs> so I don't talk too much but here I am. <laughs> but anyway, hey, uh, let's go, let's go. So see, these are some of the mistakes uh, small YouTubers do. Uh, they come to other people's channels all the time and they spam other people's comments. They're not saying anything engaging about the the video that they're supposedly watching, they're just there saying, hey, I'm new here, um, I subbed, please check out my channel. So you're not even discussing what the person has taken time to sit down and edit, um, produce, record, film, whatever. You're just there for yourself. You don't care what the other person is there for. So I think it's always in bad taste to do that. So I hate when I get comments like that. I, mean, I just give them like, the side eye why aren't you commenting on my content are you just here for for a sub if you're just here for a sub i don't know i don't know if i could i could support uh, a channel like that and then the second thing that i i noticed and this is because i've been using give me a sec i've been using a i've been using a I've been using a uh, an app lately. It's on my phone. Let me. It's called Tube Buddy, and this is how it looks. So basically, what I've noticed since I started using this uh, um, app it showed me that a lot of people use titles and text that are not really searchable. So when you're titling your video, it's best to most of the time what I do is when I have my video done and I see the whole theme of my video, I'll try to search on YouTube to see what other videos are kind of like the same content that I'm putting up and try to come up with a variation of titles from the searchable titles that I found uh, when I YouTubed uh, my content. So let's say summer shoes out uh, put on YouTube and search for summer shoes and see what are the top 10 um, titles and from there I'll take uh, what interests me and try to make my own title so it's super important to have uh, searchable um, uh, titles that are also not clickbait um, it's so annoying when you read a title then you go and watch a video and like you watch the video and you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, and nothing happens. Nothing that the title suggested happens. It, it's, it's a horrible way to try and get views or even uh, followers. So I don't suggest that you do that. Stay away from clickbaiting. And the other thing that I'm also bad at this is not having like a, a at first I never really had a schedule. I used to, when I started off, I uploaded every Saturday. That's what I did. Then when I came back after being pregnant, I did Wednesday and Saturday. And now I'm trying to do Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. But I always find that on Sundays, I'm so exhausted that I, I can't bring myself to do any YT work. So I don't know. Uh, it's something that I must really talk to myself about that. Yeah, 
maybe I should think about it again if I really want to do three videos a week so if you're not able to do uh, many videos don't don't say hey I do five videos a week but you only post like two you must let people know your schedule so if your schedule is Wednesday Saturday Sunday like mine you should really try to stick to that even though I'm saying all this I'm going to try and hold myself accountable this Sunday and post the video normally I don't do that I don't hold myself accountable but this week because I'm trying my best to grow my channel I'm going to stick to my schedule so guys uh, decide on the schedule that best works for you and stick to it so people know all the time when are you uploading it's better to know that uh, your favorite uh, youtuber is uploading on a Wednesday um, for me the time is not really important as long as I know my favorite youtuber um, uploads every Sunday I will go to their channel and check if a video is up even if it's not on my um, notifications because I know that they upload every Sunday I always go to check if there's something up anyway uh, one of the things that I hate 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 when I watch videos it's when the audio is really really bad for me it's, um, you can have um, uh, like uh, not like 4k uh, imagery or 1080 imagery it doesn't really matter to me because some of the time I watch listen I'm not um, I'm watching but I'm, I'm mostly listening and not looking at the screen because I have to give my daughter attention so for me the most important thing is audio and I think that that's an important thing for most people it's not really the video quality yes video quality is very important like see how um, big youtubers like uh, uh, KBM HD are doing uh, Lou um, Casey Nice that they have amazing video quality but for a small YouTuber, you don't really have to go out there and buy the most expensive um, filming equipment. You're just starting out, hey, you can start off using your phone, you can use whatever, but make sure that your audio is number one. That's most important. Some people can understand what you're saying, they can hear what you're saying, and they're not annoyed. As I know, a lot of people out there are multitaskers. A lot of mummies out there are multitaskers. They, they're listening to what you're saying. They love your content. Now and then when they have free time, they can give it 100% attention. But most of the time, they're listening and laughing, you know, when they can't see what you're doing. So for me, audio is more important than imagery, even though it does add that extra element if the quality is amazing when it comes to imagery. But I think you should put more emphasis on having the best audio possible so yeah that's my number four um, tip on what some small youtubers do uh, that's a big mistake as far as I'm concerned and the fifth one and the last thing I think most youtubers do um, is really get impatient um, I don't understand why people think that you just get on YouTube and next thing you have like 10 million subscribers it doesn't work that like that for everybody even in the music industry people are so talented and it doesn't happen for everybody you know everybody we can't all be like um, PewDiePie and have like 60 million uh, su subscribers you can have like 2,000 subscribers and still be a very successful youtuber so just stay in your lane produce great content and connect with your followers your viewers the people who love your content never stray away from that so don't get impatient it will happen for you uh, it do you don't have to be really big to um, make money on YouTube if your end goal is to make money on YouTube because people are different. Some people do YouTube uh, for the fun of it, like I do. I make YouTube for the fun of it. Um, <laughs> it's always funny for me to see and look at old videos and <laughs> compare myself to the old uh, Losha that's on my channel and see how far I've grown, how far I've come. So yeah, if it's important for you to make money, um, yeah, there are other ways to do it. On YouTube you don't have to have 60 million subscribers you don't have to have hundred thousand subscribers 
just having 5,000 subscribers, having a thousand subscribers, you can make a good, um, uh, like a second income from YouTube. So don't be impatient, take your time, make good content, uh, connect with your viewers, your followers, and yeah, enjoy every minute of this. You know, basically you're just um, recording your life <laughs> and putting out putting it out in, onto the internet and someday your great great children will get to see <laughs> how you were and maybe connect with you so be genuine be uh, a great person and all the stars will align for you so guys yeah that's my video for today this is my Wednesday video and I'll just highlight what I said so um, for me the mistakes that small youtubers always make is that number one they make um, spamming, they write spamming uh, comments on people's videos. Number two, they we don't normally use um, searchable titles and sometimes our titles are a bit uh, clickbaity. So stay away from clickbait titles and try to use as much searchable uh, titles as possible because it really helps you out. Um, not having a schedule i'm gonna hold myself accountable for this sunday i'm uploading if i don't have a video on sunday guys <laughs> rip me a new one okay rip me a new <laughs> okay and number four it's bad audio for me um having great audio is number one and number five is being impatient about your growth okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here on Monchafa, please don't forget to click that big red subscribe button below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, 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 because it does help me out. And for all the day ones, thank you so much for sticking by me. And you new guys, I love you too. Bye.